Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully read all that data from our database and visible it in our page, right? That means in our dashboard page. So now I want to do, I want to go more deep and I hope friend you will like it very much because right now I want to use our total MVC pattern. That means we will create one of the view page, we will create one of the controller and also we will create one of the model okay so how can do that work combine all the things how can comp create one of the other function i will show you with the live example for doing this first of all here i want to do i want to create one of the another um, table for the category okay i want to create one of the table for the category and from the category i want to insert some of the category and i also want to get this category and visible it in our another area so for doing this i want to do i want to add another menu so that is the menu portion as i told you friend so here we have to do that is our drop down so that is actually the file when you install that laravel default authentication system that is our navigation drop down and with the navigation drop down here you can see that is actually our another file so i want to do i want to actually take another one so better i want to copy it okay i copy it and now I paste it so in particular that area I want to do I want to add as a all category okay so this type of one of the things I want to add and I name it as a all category category so right now I didn't create any routes so for the reasons I want to do I want to make it as a right now as a null okay I make it as empty and this activated here we don't need this I want to do I want to remove it so that is our default one so it's perfect so that is our all categories okay so that is our nav navigation and the drop down and blade.php now click as a save all and now if you refresh it so it's still showing as a route is not defined okay better i want to do i want to make it as a total empty okay because of all i didn't create any route so click as a save all and now if you refresh it yeah now you see there is another one as a all categories so for now i want to do i want to create one of the table i want to create one of the table in our database as a laravel 8 here i want to create one of the tables so if you want to create this table you have to do you have to migrate it and also as i told you friend they have the two type of style that is the one you can use that eloquent orm you can use also the query builder so if you use that eloquent orm then you have to create one of the model rather than if you only working with this um, query builder then you don't need to use that model okay so for the reason some of the person actually like to working with the um, query builder so right now i actually want to share both of this with you for the reasons uh, for our this all category i want to create one of the model and also i want to create one of the database uh, migration table that means here i want to create another migration table so if you want to do that work you have to do you have to go to your appropriate file location that means that is our project directory as a laravel and the basic right so here you can actually create individually you can individually create one of the model you can individually create one of the migration file rather than if you want to create both of these with at a time you can also do that work i show you then you have to do you have to write down as a php artisan and then make i want to do and to make one of the model make model i want to create one of the model name as a category category okay and also i want to migrate it at a time i want to create another migration file that will be as a um, hyphen and then m m that means it should be created one of the model and as a category name and that means the model name will be as a category and also it should be created one of the migration file as a category now if you click as a enter now you can see friend it's now created one of the model created successful and also it's created another migration file that means in the model folder you can see it's now created one of the category model so that is our category model and also it's created another migration file so that is our another migration file okay and you can see it's now created another migration file as a categories perfect so that is the things i want to do everything is now successfully created so now I want to do, I want to add some of the field, like that is our database table into the migration, that is our new one as a category. So that means it should be created one of the categories table. And with the categories table by default, there is an ID and the time is spent. So now I want to do, I want to add some of the field. Okay, so better I want to do, I want to copy it. So for our categories, we don't, we need actually one of the user. I name it one of the field as a user ID. 
that will be one of the user id and also i want to do i want to create another one as a category name a category underscore name so that will be our two of this field name and user id will be as an integer okay i name it as a user id will be as an integer and this category name like for the category name it will be as a string okay that means it will be as a string value okay friend and also if you want to use that soft delete so they have also another option as a soft delete if you go to that laravel official website and here if you search with the soft delete delete okay soft delete so if you use that soft delete and then if you open it and here you can see if you want to use that soft deleting then you have to do into the model area here you have to do you have to use this one okay that means this one that is soft deleting so for now i want to do and to copy it i copy it and now go to our model so i have already created one of the model as a our category so do the category area here by default as a hash factory so i want to do and to add our new one i only want to change it as a use and the soft deleting okay and also if you use that soft deleting you have to also use it and that means the eloquent i copy it and now in particular that area after this uh, i want to do uh, sorry i want to add our this user that is our soft deleting so make that sure you, you use it so here i successfully updated both of these so now i want to do i want to add it in our um, format that means here after this okay after this i take another one i copy it i want to do and to paste it so in particular that area i want to use our this soft deleting i copy it and it will be as a soft deleting okay so now i want to use it so perfect so here i use our id that means our table name will be as a categories and to the categories that is will be on the id and then the integer integer will be for our user id and the string for the category name and also i use that soft deletings and also i want to do i want to make our these two of this field as a fillable so if you go to our default one that means you are user so this user is default one right so when you install that uh, laravel we get by default this model and here you can see there is also also another option for the protected as a fillable so right now i also want to use it i copy it and now go to our models and that is our category so here after this okay after this i also want to make our protected field our protected field i want to make it uh, for our two of this field one will be as a user id i copy it that will be as a user id and also i want to add another protected field for the category name so now i want to do i want to make it as a category name so right now we don't need this i hope it's very much clear to you friend so that's all you have to do if you working with the model that means if you want to use that uh, you look into rm okay so now i successfully created one of the create uh, table as a our categories table and into the categories table there are the two field as a user id and the category name and also i make it as a soft direct so now i want to do i want to migrate it okay so when you migrate it automatically it will be created this table with all that field i show you uh like that is our database right so now i want to do i want to migrate our this new table so after this so here i want to do i want to click as a php artisan and then migrate so php artisan migrate so now if you click as a enter now you can see friend it's now successfully created our this categories table so now if you go here if you now refresh it yes you can see it's now created new one as a categories and for the categories i have created one of the user id and one of the category name that is a created and you can see it's also added another both or two of these as a updated ad and another field as a deleted ad so that is the two field is visible because of all here i'm using as a soft delete so if you don't you want to use that soft delete then it will be only uh, created as a created ad okay and then updated ad so now there is another field is added as a deleted ad so perfect so we successfully created our table i hope you can well understand about it how can create some of the table with using that migration and also how can assign all that your table field so there is a table field i have assigned in our migration area you can see that is our user id and that the category name so that is our user id and the category name 
so now i also i want to do i want to create another controller for our this category so if you want to create this controller i hope you already know about it then you have to do you have to write down as a php artisan make and then controller and then i want to do and to create another controller for our category i name it as a category category controller okay name it as a category controller so if you want to create this controller you have to write down as a php artisan make controller and i now i want to create one of the category controller and i name it as a category controller so now if you click as a enter now you can see it's now successfully created one of the controller in our controller area that means in our http there is a controller you can see it's now created another controller as a category controller so now i want to do when any user actually click in particular this area it should be loaded another page okay this should be loaded another category page so if you want to do that work i hope you already know about it what exactly you have to do so first of all i want to put one of the link i want to put one of the link on here so if you want to put that link as i told you friend uh, here you can use some of the route so better i want to do i want to use one of the routes so if you want to add this route what exactly you have to do so i want to do i want to create one of the route okay i name it as a all category so whatever you want so now i name it as a all category one of the route right so we have to do we have to create this route so if you want to create this route we have to work in our web route area that means here right so here i want to do i want to add one of the another route so after this okay after this better i want to put some of the comments for you it will be as a category controller okay category controller so that is our category controller so into the category controller i want to use that route so that will be as a route and after that it will be as a gate and into the gate area i want to put one of the name okay so here i want to put one of the name it will be as a, a category category slash all so this type of one of the name so here also also after that we have to do we have to add our controller that means it should be just like that same friend uh, better also i want to put some of the name better i copy it okay i copy it so after this after this hmm, better i don't want to make you confused i copy both of this that means there is a route and here i want to put that route name it should be as a this one i remove it so that will be our gate and that category all and i have also created another controller i have already created another controller as a category controller right so right now we don't need this i remove it so that is our category controller i copy it and here i want to do and to paste it so that will be our category controller class and with the category controller area i want to create one of the method i want to create one of the method as a all category okay uh, that means the all cat and also after that i want to put on the name so this name i have already created that route name as all categories so now i want to copy it and here i name it as a this one so now if you click as a particular that position it should be redirected to our this category all page and also here i added our category controller so we have to do you have to also include it right so make that sure you include it before i have already discussed about that things with you that is our contact controller that is our app http controllers and that is our new controller i have created as a category controller so now i want to do i want to add that category controller that means that is our app app and the http the controllers and then our category controller so first of all you have to load it and after that you have to add it right so that is our category controller i have created and then that is our category and then category controller it is the category controller now we have to do we have to create this method as a all cat right so we have to create it now go to our category controller into the category controller area i want to do i want to create our this uh, method so if you want to create this method first of all what exactly you have to do you have to make it as a public okay public and then function public function and our method name will be as all cat so now i name it as all cat so that will be our function style right so into this area i want to do i want to return i want to return on the view page so into the view page area i want to do i want to create i want to make that as a specific then it should be better actually in our view area so that is our view into the view area i want to create one of the folder i want to create one of the folder as admin okay into the admin folder i want to create another folder 
so when you actually segment everything part by part then it should be very much easy to you when you actually create some of the large project and i name it as a category so that is actually a good practice okay so into the admin folder i have created another folder as a category c a t e z o r y right category and also into the category area that means into the category folder i want to create another new file and i name it as a whatever the one and now i now i name it as index.blade.php now i save it so now this page i want to load okay so this page i want to load so if you want to add this then here we have to add it right so into the view area i want to do and to add it that means i have already into the view area i have created one of the folder as a admin into the admin folder i have created another folder as a category okay make that your spelling is correct into the category folder i want i have created one of the file as index right so that will be our view file that means that is our view into the view i have created admin folder there is a category folder into the category i have created that index plate so that is our index right friend so here i simply load our this page so now if you want to load it that means if you want to visible it so make that sure after that you have to use that um, column okay semicolon so here make that sure you use it so that's all you have to do friend now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it now go to our all categories yeah you can see it's now perfectly loaded our all categories because of all it's now totally blank so here i want to do it will be just like our uh, this dashboard okay better i copy everything i copy everything from here and into the index i paste it so right now that is all the data so here i don't need this data i remove it i make it as a clean okay i make it as a clean i just simply remove everything from here and also there is a count i don't want to use that count and here i only want to visible i only want to visible as a our name as a all category okay this will be display as a all category now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see it's now showing as a all category that is our dashboard page and that is our all category page perfect and that is also one of the spin so better i want to do until you remove that spin also here i don't need this i remove it now click as a save all and now if you refresh it yeah it's now gone so friend i hope it's very much clear to you so that is our all category here i have add one of the route right so i recap it again then it will be very much easy to you so in particular this area i have created one of the route i have named it as all category that means into the web ready area i have created one of the controller and that is our name route i have already declared as all category i have created one of the controller as a category controller that means it should be redacted to our this controller area this that is actually one of the method right and it should be redacted to our this method that means in our category controller this method and here i return on the view page i have created into the view folder as a admin folder category folder and that is our file so i simply return this file so now you can see it's now perfectly loaded and our url path as a category all because of all i have already added that name so that is our all category name i have already added that path will be as a category all so now you can see it's now showing as a category all so now i want to do i want to add one of the form so into the form area i want to do i want to add one of the um, validations how we can add some of the validation into the form area in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video